Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Cyril with Corrective Step Foot Health Center. We have a patient who has uh, insertional Achilles tendinosis. If you might be able to see, we're looking at the back part of this heel, this is the right heel, and you can see that there's a large bump right there. So basically that's where a lot of the swelling, chronic swelling, chronic tearing has been taking place. You can also see that we've measured out a little tic-tac-toe grid where the patient has told us where they have the pain. Is this where you have the most pain? Yes. Right there. Mm -hmm. We also have an ultrasound machine out so we can actually take some images of the foot and the heel right as we're giving that medication so we know we're giving it in the uh, correct location. So this may or may not show up really well on the video, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that it shows up for me and our patient so we can give the injection. So, <clears throat> What I'm looking at on this uh, ultrasound is basically the back part of the posterior aspect of the heel. Right above that, we have the fascia band, I'm sorry, the Achilles tendon that inserts right into the heel. This is probe is right over the painful area. We can also see some white signal intensity within the tendon, and that's consistent with tear and ruptures. So we're actually gonna be delivering some amniotic stem cells right into that area. Looking, completing the uh, exploration of the back part of her heel, we know that she has large, large bone spurs um, that the stem cells won't take care of, but they can help to reduce the pain and the chronic swelling or inflammation that's going on there. And that's what we're going after. We've spoken together, uh, this patient and I, about different options, and we're of the opinion that less is gonna be more in this case, so we're gonna try to give her some relief with the stem cells, and then we are going to immobilize her for a brief period of time. You're still gonna be able to do some exercises and range of motion. I just kind of got done talking to her and letting her know that she's able to do normal activity, but um, anything more is not encouraged. So we are using Amnion stem cells. <clears throat> and they are not a paid promoter of this. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some rubbing alcohol to clean the area. I have my medication ready. And my dear, you might feel some cold. I see the location that I'm going to, right where the arrow is at. And so you're going to see a needle or syringe kind of go into that area very soon. You've been doing a very good job, okay? Are you? So giving topical cold spray. And then injecting into the area. And like I said, you're gonna see that needle come through. And I'm delivering some medication as I'm going. So on the ultrasound, you may see some blurriness and that's normal because that's fluid going into that ultrasound or that image. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. So you can see that needle poking right through, right there. So now that we know where we're at, let's redirect it so we can go towards that painful area that we mapped out already. And now you can start to see that coming through. So now we know we're a little bit closer, deliver some medication. Every time we go someplace, we're delivering some medication. So I'm sorry if you feel some pain every time we move the needle, but know that you're not going to feel pain there anymore because we're redirecting. Almost there. So we have one cc of the Amnion medication. We also use some local anesthetic to make the medication a little bit easier to take and tolerate. So in that medication, I use some epinephrine. So don't be surprised if the back part of your heel turns white. We're going to put her in a walking boot that's removable. 
You can see some of that whiteness I'm talking about, secondary from that epinephrine. It basically stops the blood flow from coming to the area, which means our medication uh, is concentrated in this one little area. And that also means the stem cells are concentrated in that one little area because we want it to basically stay there and do a lot of good work. So recovery period for this is going to be in a walking boot, able to walk, able to move, able to put pressure down, and then doing some range of motion exercise. We'll follow up in about one month to see how she's doing, transition her out of the walking boot into normalcy. She may need a second or third uh, procedure, but again, this is a good alternative to surgery. Until next time, this is Dr. Cyril from Corrective Step for Health Center saying see you later.